You do gonna love the knob for fucking ever. Six to five and a wake up. Oh, Lord. Somebody once wrote, hell is the impossibility of reason. That's what this place feels like, hell. I'm so tired. We get up at 5 a.m., hump all day, camp around 4 or 5, dig a foxhole, eat, then put out an all-night ambush or a three-man listening post in the jungle. If you're lucky, you get to stay in the perimeter at night, and then you pull a three-hour guard shift. So maybe you sleep three, four hours a night, but you don't really sleep. all right with guys nobody really cares about they come from the end of the line most of them two years high school is about it maybe if they're lucky a job waiting for them back in a factory but most of them got nothing they're poor they're the unwanted it's weird isn't it at the bottom of the barrel and they know it maybe that's why they call themselves grunts because a grunt can take it can take anything they're the best i've ever seen grandma the heart and soul It's scary, because nobody tells me how to do anything, because I'm new. Nobody cares about the new guys. They don't even want to know your name. The unwritten rule is a new guy's life isn't worth as much, because he hasn't put his time in yet. And they say, if you're going to get killed in the Nam, it's better to get it in the first few weeks. The logic being, you don't suffer that much. For the record, it's my call. Dump everything you've got left on my pod. I say again. Expend all remaining in my perimeter. It's a lovely fucking war. Bravo 6 out. How many people had I already killed? There were those six that I knew about for sure. Close enough to blow their last breath in my face. But this time, it was an American. That wasn't supposed to make any difference to me, but it did. Shit. Charging a man with murder in this place was like handing out speeding tickets at the Indy 500. Because there's a conflict in every human heart between the rational and the irrational, between good and evil. And good does not always triumph. Sometimes the dark side overcomes what Lincoln called the better angels of our nature. Every man has got a breaking point. You and I have. And very obviously, he has gone insane. He's out there operating without any decent restraint, totally beyond the pale of any acceptable human conduct. I was being ferried down the coast in a Navy PBR, a type of plastic patrol boat, pretty common sight on the rivers. They said it was a good way to pick up information and move without drawing a lot of attention. And that was okay. I needed the air and the time. Only problem was I wouldn't be alone. The crew were mostly just kids, rock and rollers with one foot in their graves. struggle to maintain not only my strength, but my sanity. It's all a blur. I have no energy to write. I don't know what's right and what's wrong anymore. The morale of the men is low. A civil war in the platoon. There's a lot of suspicion and hate. I can't believe we're fighting each other when we should be fighting them. It's a 
Beautiful night. Yeah. I love this place at night. The stars. There's no right or wrong in them. They're just there. That's a nice way of putting it. Yo! Saddle up! Lock and load! You're hunting too much stuff, troop. You don't need half that shit. I'll haul it for you. But the next time you check with me first, all right? Don't catch any Z's on me, buddy, or I'll sling your sorry ass. You hear me? Burn! Never get out of the boat. Absolutely goddamn right. Unless you were going all the way. Fuck up in a firefight and I guarantee you a trip out of the bush. In a body bag. Out here, assholes, you keep your shit wired tight at all times. He was one of those guys that had that weird light around him. You just knew he wasn't gonna get so much as a scratch here. Piss on us all night. I'm gonna put a serious case of crotch rot on that ugly face of yours, Junior. Police up your extra ammo and frags. Don't leave nothing for the dinks. The more they tried to make it just like home, the more they made everybody miss it. Movement. I think now, looking back, we did not fight the enemy. We fought ourselves. And the enemy was in us. But be that as it may, those of us who did make it have an obligation to build again, to teach to others what we know, and to try with what's left of our lives to find a goodness and meaning to this life.